Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nightmare Championship Wrestling presents NCW's Adrenaline, episode 180. Glad everyone could join us here in the land of the Nightmare and fans. We have a special treat because we have a co-commentator this evening. Joining us here, or joining myself rather, here tonight on commentary is my partner here, Kyle West. Kyle, welcome to the land of the Nightmare and thank you for joining us here to help me out with a little bit of commentary here this evening. I don't mind it at all. Thanks for having me. Right. Well, we got a good, uh, clean roster here. We hope you have a good time checking this out and uh, calling the action here with us tonight on NCW's Adrenaline. So here we go. Show's loading up now. Uh, getting ready to go here tonight. Ready to go for Nightmare Championship Wrestling's Tuesday edition of CW's Adrenaline AM style. I'm your host, Joshua Little. Of course, joined by my partner, Kyle West, here tonight. We are packed to the Raptors here, ladies and gentlemen. Ready to go here live from Nashville, Tennessee, here this evening. And, partner, this is going to be a barn burner of a night. I could not agree with this here, here in this in arena. arena. Is, it's where you can cut, cut it with a knife. knife. Can't wait. Can't wait. Let's, Let's get, it, get on. it on. Well, our first matchup of the evening, as it always is, here with us in the land of the nightmare, we're going to uh, find out who's going to be our battle royal champion as our newly crowned champion will be putting his title on the line here tonight in a 30-man over-the-top rope battle royal here tonight. And uh, we're going to see uh, what happens and also, if any of the superstars are online, drop on by the party. I believe the party is open, and uh, you can get a word in as edgewise uh, when you're not competing, of course. So come on by, drop on by the party, and uh, we'll see you here in the land of the nightmare. Without any further ado, let's check out this, our opening matchup of the evening. Under the Nightmare Rumble rules. We're going to find out who's going to walk away the NC champion. Have you had anything like a Battle Royal Championship? Kyle, you there? Kyle, testing, testing, one, two. Oh, yes, 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 yes I am here. here. Have you ever seen anything I zone quite zone. like a uh, Battle Royal Championship since you've been commentating? Never, Never in my, in my life, life have I ever, ever seen, seen a, a, a to see what, see what this can bring. bring. In, fact, in fact, I, I think, think I am, I am safe, safe to make, make this. I, I, is, is, here at NCW, NCW, I've never, I've never heard, heard of it anywhere, anywhere else. else. It's definitely uh, different to say the least. And right here tonight, we're going to clash at it. Or clash here for the uh, opening Battle Royal Championship here tonight. We're just making sure we put all the right people in the right places here.
here tonight in our first and opening matchup of the evening. seem we need to take out to put the champion in partner we forgot to put the champion for the, for championship, the championship without, without the champion, the champion. <laughs> yeah yeah you gotta have to have a championship match so uh we'll be removing one man here we gotta find out who that will be All right, we build your Kazarian, put it along the lead. I'll see right here tonight as our first matchup of the evening. We got a loading bar, ladies and gentlemen, and we are getting ready for the NCW Battle Royal Championship. So, Kristen wins the title at the last eight, and taking the title from the Skull King, Chris Kazarian, finally capturing his first championship here with us in the Land of the Nightmare. Now going into another 30-man rumble, his second one within four hours. Will he be able to walk the title once again? What we've seen is Destroyer, uh, some of his Genesis teammates, uh, all in this matchup, 30 men populate this ring here before the end of this only one man can walk away with the battle royal championship partner do you have any bold predictions here tonight or any advice to these young men here in this opening battle royal championship matchup Looks like we're having a uh, connecting issue here, ladies and gentlemen. Nonetheless, here we go. Battle Royal Championship right here tonight on the line. We're going to find out. Can Chris Kazarian walk away with his championship here once again, or will he fall? So here we go. Right here tonight, live in Nashville, Tennessee, ready to go here for the first matchup of the evening. The NCW Battle Royal title is on the line. Let's find out without any further ado who drew number one. It would seem that the leader of the Cowboys from Hell, the one and only Nelson Rude, coming out number one here for the Battle Royal Championship here tonight. Nelson Rude, never been a Battle Royal Champion, came down to the final three, I believe, uh, once or twice before, perhaps in the last one. Nonetheless, here tonight, Nelson Rude, Looking to go down in history as the first ever man to ever enter in number one at the uh, Battle Royal Championship and perhaps walk away through all other 29 men. Partner, I've never heard of anyone who's ever done that before, uh, especially here in our Battle Royal. Have you ever seen anyone uh, pull off such a feat? I have not. I've, I've not, never, never seen, seen someone, someone go... go Number one, number one in a yeah, coast to coast for a battle yeah, royal and go all the way all to the, the end, end and win. win. Yeah, that's that's a hard feat to accomplish. But nonetheless, Nelson Rude here tonight, and I'm gonna tell you what, Nelson Rude is a valiant uh, young man. He may be a he may be a beer swelling uh, redneck, but you better believe this redneck can tussle with the best of them. 
And here tonight, a master of the super kick. He's used that super kick in the past. And here tonight, he's like all the way to uh, the Battle Royal Championship. But, partner, he's got a long way to go. Without any further ado, let's find out who come out number two. And, uh, partner, what are the advantages and disadvantages of coming in a battle royal early or later, rather? The advantages, the advantages and disadvantages, and disadvantages are, are as simple as they, as they may they seem. seem. Starting, Starting off early, early, you have to go, go the go distance. distance. And you and have you more have likely, more likely of a chance of being, being eliminated, eliminated before, before number, number 30 is coming, coming through that curtain. curtain. That's very true. And now the man who drew number two, a man who is one-third of the NCW World Tag Team Champions, the trio of Genesis. He is the one and only, the prodigal one himself, Ryan Riley. The double R superstar here with us, ready to go here tonight, coming in at number two here tonight for the Battle Royal Championship. Now, it's been some time in NCW, a couple weeks or uh, a little over six weeks since he's seen some singles gold. Uh, but since then, he has won the one half or one third rather of the tag team championship. So Ryan Riley certainly putting that Genesis team together and showing everybody what he's made of here with us in the land of the nightmare. Uh, that that team, of course, part of that revelation faction, that giant invading uh, force that is part of I'll explain as the night goes on. Trust me, I don't want you to get lost among us. Nonetheless, here, to, here we go. Looks like Ryan Riley and uh, his opponent <coughs> will be starting out here tonight in the 30-man over the top row battle royal, and it is for that, the NCW Battle Royal Championship. It is on the line here tonight. Nelson Rude, Ryan Riley. This way we go. 30 men got to go over the top rope just like that. And Ryan Riley with one super kick takes out his opponent. He has been eliminated. And Ryan Riley stands tall alone in the ring with one maneuver partner. He has just eliminated his opponent. And the clock has just now started ticking down. What do you think about Ryan Riley now? <laughs> Good Lord. This young that, man is amazing. That's, that's impressive. impressive. That is sad. So Damn, and now opponent, Ryan Riley was three. nothing more than just <laughs> amazing. A uh, guy, but now other he's not looking average good. guy, but there. Just changed my whole perspective uh -oh. of the man. Uh -oh. Shots fired, gets taken down with that with that patented German suplex, a German suplex that he has been using for uh, a little over a year now. Mike Miller, of course, our number three entrant as our clock is ticking down. It looks like they're going to release number. It is former New Generation champion. Mike. This starting to seemingly fill up a little bit. Matsuda Tanaka going after both men here as soon as he comes in the ring. Look out, super kick, and Mike Miller is gone. Matsuda Tanaka gets an elimination just like Ryan Riley, and they are the only two men who populate the ring right now. Masuda Tanaka on the second rope. Look out, Phoenix Splash keeping down Ryan Riley. And this is all for the Battle Royal Championships and general matchup of the evening. Masa taking out Ryan Riley. And now our newest member of the matchup, the Beast Cody Ford, representing the American Triad here for the NCW Battle Royal Championship. And we got a long ways to go, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Riley gets thrown over, and the Beast eliminates Ryan Riley. Still only two men in the ring, partner. It's Matsuda and the Beast here as our clock ticks down. What do you think about this matchup so far? Honestly, I can't really give you much of thought now. now. Them. And I feel as <laughs> yeah. if I were to gear myself toward one superstar, I'll be being biased. That's very true. And now we got three men in the ring. Matsuda rolling to the bottom rope as the Deputy Razorhawk now, the newest member of the matchup, going after the Beast Cody Ford, but a Hurricanrana out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. And the Beast stays in control of the Law Dog of Kyle. But Nathan Everett with the dragon control and entering down to the ring. Big man known all across call, known as the Beastmaster here. And look out, he's going right after Cody Ford. It is Axel Sorensen. 
Axel Sorensen going after putting down Cody Ford and now taking it to Matsuda Tanaka. And Tanaka not in a good way here, ladies and gentlemen. Got him up on his shoulders, puts him out with a military press. Matsuda Tanaka has been eliminated by Axel Sorensen, and now he turns his attentions to the Deputy Razorhawk. Cody Ford saving the Law Dog of Call as the Creep Angus makes his way down to the ring at number eight. Partner, don't be afraid to talk. I know I talk a lot, but I'll leave, you know, I'm gonna leave you some space. Don't worry. You can you can definitely fit in a word here. I don't want to intimidate you a little bit. It's all right. Oh, the law dog slammed there by Nathan Everett, taking down Angus. Beautiful spinning side slam there. That his finishing maneuver, and now Cody Ford in control. Oh, look out! The here he is, an NCW Hall of Famer, Alex McNabb. Partner, have you ever seen Alex McNabb? I have never, but I am looking forward to seeing what he can do in the squared circle. Right now he's tussling with the beast, going back and forth. These two, no strangers to each other. They battled each other since 2010, ladies and gentlemen. Here tonight, going at it for the Battle Royal. But Alex McNabb, master. Uh, from uh, pull off out he has eliminated the beast as his protege has come in to the matchup Alex Hunter going for a super kick of his own and missing there partner do you think it's a good thing that both of these men are at the in the ring at the same time could they seemingly work together you think to better their odds here tonight honestly at the end of the day it's every man for himself but you have to make it to the end and a super kick by McNabb finds its lemonade. Nathan Everett instead. Axel Sorensen trying to hang on here as Alex Hunter is trying to eliminate him. Now, seriously, freaking Scottish, the tag team, working together on the big man. But he fights his way out of it, fighting off both of them. And the law dog of call in a bad way. The deputy Razor Hawk is up, and he is getting choke slam. No, he rakes the eyes, partner. Was that a good idea to rake the eyes in the middle of the choke slam there? Look like he was about How I see it is, if you're in that choke slam clutch, it's all you get in there. Then eliminated. I'm sorry, go ahead. Ooh, super kick. And uh, the big man is gone, no doubt. Revenge for eliminating his uh, protege, Alex Hunter. And now we got four men in the ring Sweet Lips Willie Wilcox. Now, partner, I got to get your opinion on Sweet Lips Willie Wilcox. He is from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and he is a Canadian porn star that wrestles part time. So how do you feel about him being in uh, in wrestling as a whole? In wrestling, I, I they want to, but and you gotta know what you're, you know what you're doing. doing. But from going, going from, from the, the adult, adult movie, movie scene, scene into this, into this <laughs> it's definitely uh, a stretch to say the it's least. It's a way different, different. Yeah. scenario. So we got four say the populating. Uh, we got four populating the ring here. It's Alex McNabb, uh, Alistar, Shane Adams, and Sweet Lips Willie Wilcox. And Shane Adams, that Canadian, uh, that uh, cruiserweight that he is, is just taking it to every ring. But look out, Alistar's tag team partner, Grim Sean Samuels, has entered the fold here, and perhaps these two will lay waste to the field. Grim has eliminated Alex McNabb. Shane Adams holding on to the bottom rope here, doing what he can, kicking off all the people who's trying to eliminate him and stays in this. Have you ever seen uh, our partner? I'm sorry, could you please repeat the question? The question is, have you ever seen anyone the size of Alistair or Grim Sean Samuels? I mean, these are some rather large individuals. Grim is pushing 400 pounds, and look out, just get, gets another elimination as he clears the ring here, disposing of the cruiserweight Shane Adams. He is gone. To answer your question. Look out, we got double choke slams here. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm going to tell you what. These are the biggest guys we have here. But certainly, uh, I, I've seen actually guys the size of them elsewhere as well. Uh, Alex, Alex uh, excuse me, Axel Sorensen is actually huge. You've seen him in this matchup earlier. And uh, now our newest member of the matchup joining the fold, the hardcore champion, Patrick Pierre. It looks like our, on our comments on the side, it looks like uh, Ryan McCartney slash uh, the masked man known as Dave KG has uh, joined us in the comments. Appreciate you for your support, sir. Thank you. Nonetheless, looks like Bam Bam going on the assault here. And good Lord, we got an elimination at the same time as a Bam Bam's curse. And Savage has gotten rid of Ryan McCartney immediately. Speaking of Ryan McCartney, he is gone. And Savage laying waste to the field here, partner. He has eliminated the hardcore champion, Patrick Pierre, as well. What do you think is So, ladies are? and gentlemen, what that means is that we are guaranteed a new champion from what I'm understanding. Chris Kazarian not in the up quite. He gets knocked out. If he gets knocked out, then we will guarantee a new champion. But right now, our champion has, is not in the matchup or has not entered the matchup thus far. Nonetheless, <laughs> like you said, the Battle Royal title is on the line. We will find out who this is going to be. Ooh, nice swinging neck breaker there. And the crazed, uh, the crazed individual known as going off here in the ring. And apparently Alistar got it when I wasn't looking away. And now it looks like our, ta our Royal Champion is making his way down to the ring. That being Chris Kazarian. So here we go. Now we got the champion in the ring at number 19 here out of 30. Entering at number 19, I, it's, it's a okay spot, but it's not the best. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, naturally. You're right in the middle of the field. Yeah, yeah, you're not past, not far past midway. And here comes number 20, a young man that you know a lot. Jonathan Hale, former NPW World Heavyweight Champion. Savage with This man. Keep going, please. Go ahead. I can, I can honestly, honestly tell, tell you, you has, has made, made a, name a name for himself. For himself. Certainly still making that name for himself here. Beautiful scissor kick that he connected with there. And now going after Savage. And now him to Chris Kazarian, the champion, still in the matchup here. But for how long? Look out. Taken to the corner here by Sweet Lips. And Sweet Lips looking to go for the elimination as we got a major swing maneuver here on Savage. Down he goes. Now. Newest member of the matchup, Calypso, Joe Jacobson, a member of the American Triad, gets taken down with an STO there. And look out, Jonathan Hale going to work, looking to get his first elimination there, throwing Sweet Lips Willie Wilcox over the top rope. And now, look out, Savage now looking to get rid of the hometown. Oh, my goodness, Britt and John gone. Now your newest member of the matchup, EFED Sensation. Jeremy Barmore, one half of the Cousins of Chaos partner. Have you ever seen Jeremy Barmore compete? No, I have not. You have but never I seen Jeremy looking. looking. Huh? I'm looking, I'm looking forward, forward to, to see, see what, what he can, can do. do. Jeremy Barmore is still waiting to win that first singles championship. And look out for Kazarian with that slinging flapjack on the out of the fire and he is in control here Kazarian is all over Jeremy Barmore and it is not looking good for one half of the Cousins of Chaos but here comes some backup perhaps to help him a member of oh but look out he is gone Kazarian gets another elimination getting rid of Jeremy Barmore Jay Constanelli now gets rid of Calypso and now Savage has been eliminated as well. The field has just been leveled. And look out, Revelation is all that is left in the ring. But Costanelli knows it is every man for himself. He don't give a damn. He's looking to eliminate. Chris Kazarian is number 24, is coming down to the ring. Partner, here we go. The Siberian Super Wolf Husky. Three men populate the ring, partner, at number 24. And the ring doesn't look like it's going to slow down. Look out. 
Constantelli eats a super kick, but then a, a jawbreaker of sorts slamming his throat against the rope, or the top rope here. And look out for Constantelli. He's not playing around. No scope. Powerbomb takes out the Siberian Super Wolf Husky. Of uh, Everett Const or excuse me, uh, Jay Constantelli, the Italian champion of NCW. And look out, he eliminates Chris Kazarian. We are guaranteed now, partner, to have a new NCW Battle Royal champion. And look out, the Siberian Super Wolf Husky has been thrown out by Hunter Thames. And now, coming out of nowhere, got him up. And look out, a no scope power bomb. That is the second power bomb. This time he pulls it off on Hunter Thames and number 26, here he comes, Huey Blunts. Will he make it down to the ring in time? Look out, Castanelli up on the shoulders for the Huracarana over the ropes and out goes Hunter Thames. The damage of Huey Blunts and Jay Constantelli, the only two men in the ring right now. Constantelli now thrown over the ropes, but he's right back in the ring. Our clock ticking down as Huey Blunts is taken down by Constantelli. Now, partner, they're on Ebermatt. Constantelli looked up, up here, partner, and win his second singles title as Draven Castle joins the field. Three men populate the ring. Now, what would you do, partner, if you were in a situation where it was you and two other guys in the ring? Honestly, Honestly, I'd hook that I'd bottom hook that rope, rope like there's, like no, there's tomorrow. no tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if I'd do all that. I'd probably stand back and let the other two fight, but look out. We're down to two just like that. Asshole with a close very quickly. Taking out. Shot now being joined the ring by Junior, a second generation superstar, the Dark Horse. His father, of course, the Black Stallion. He goes by the name the Dark Horse, Mark Sampson Jr. And it looks like we're going to see some double team action. No. Instead, throws him into the corner, and Huey Blunt's landing a big-time kick, and he is just nailing the hell out of this man. But a hell of a reversal here into the finisher of Draven Castle. The Dark Tower puts him down. Now the damage just sweeps in with a DDT. Now coming out number 29, Josh Omega. Now, partner, uh, have you ever seen Josh Omega in, in uh, action before? And he's coming in at number 29. This is a great number. I can say I have not seen him much, but I have seen him. Right now. I've seen him, if I remember correctly, at the NPW pay-per-view. Oh, power of the punch puts Cyber down Kingdom. Omega. Cyber Kingdom, of course. If you guys haven't checked it out, you definitely need to go see it. And now coming out number 30 is Jason Sharp. That power of the punch by the damage on Huey Blunts trying to take it to Josh Omega. And partner, we are down to the final five. And it looks like we're going to be down to the final four as Omega has been eliminated by Huey Blunts. Final four. Look out, Jason Sharp with a clothesline, and he has eliminated Mark Sampson Jr. Huey Blunt's up on the shoulders and now thrown out of the ring. We're down to the final two. It's Jason Sharp and Draven Castle. Only one man can walk away with the Battle Royal Championship. Oh, and an overhead. Belly to belly puts down Jason Sharp, the man who comes out number 30. He has the greatest chance, partner, of walking away the winner of this Battle Royal Championship. Couldn't agree more. But how the situation lined up for you is making it through that hurt. Uh-oh. And now the new breed up on his shoulders. It is game over, ladies and gentlemen, as Draven Castle has walked away with his first NCW Battle Royal Championship. The man who is trained in Scotland with Alex McNabb walks away the victor, partner. Congratulations, Draven Castle. Draven Castle now, ladies and gentlemen, your new NCW Battle Royal Champion. Wow. It has been one hell of a ride here, ladies and gentlemen. Then this was just the first match. Wow. An awesome matchup, to say the least here. And now we have a new 
NCW Battle Royal Champion. Hailing from Loch Ness, Scotland. He is the one and only Draven Castle. The Dark Tower walks away with his first piece of gold here with us in the land of the nightmare. Congratulations to Draven Castle once again. So Kyle, how you doing over there? You doing okay? You made it through your first match with no with no bumps, no bruises. You you did awesomely, kid. Thanks, man. Just doing my job. Nonetheless, here we go. We got our second matchup of the evening, fans. We're gonna have an eight man cruiserweight ladder match. So here we go. I have to downgrade this to a six man to be honest. Cause me and Kyle's gonna play this one out. So uh hold on. Yeah, we'll downgrade to a six man. It's all good. I got you. Alright. No, that's good. So who am I supposed to be again? Uh Lassiter. <laughs> And we'll cut the entrances off so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, like during the matchup, I could. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's a few technicals. Alright, there you go. All right, so here we go. Me and Kyle West going to call this and up here tonight on NCW's Adrenaline. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we have a six-man cruiserweight affair. We have, from left to right, of course, TJ Black, Thomas War, Braden Punk, Lassiter Roberts, Shane Adams, and Eric Hale, the assassin. So here we go. Eric Hale, the only man in this matchup, a former Cruiserweight champion. Of course, uh, other champions, other former champions in this matchup include uh, Braden Punk holding the television title a couple of years ago. And Lassiter Roberts, of course, has multiple championships all across NCW's history books. Uh, 
I believe he's world a six-time, seven-time High Flyers champion. He's done a lot here with us, including a tag team title and multiple other mid-card championships. Nonetheless, Shane Adams here with us tonight as well. A uh, young cruiserweight looking to make a name for himself, much like TJ Black and Thomas Ward. Now, TJ Black is the number one contender to the Cruiserweight Championship partner. If he loses this matchup, do you think that'll hurt his chances in the run for the Cruiserweight title? In the end, the end if he's already the number already one the number contender, contender, I don't, I see, don't a see a loss hurting him, hurting too, him bad. too bad. It'll definitely cause a ruckus. But, but with you that will, loss, that argument, it'll cause an argument. It, 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 le it opens a door to an argument if you will, it should he be the number one contender, even though this is a multi-man. Now, a multi-man ladder match, and he's definitely won one-on-one, -on -one, which he is getting against Chase Hendo Henderson, the chosen one himself, going up against TJ Black. That's taking place at the Nick Cavan in NCW, that being Supreme Struggle. So... This, of course, is an exhibition six-man ladder match. Of course, all the shows this week uh, in uh, in honor of the draft were all interpromotional, and we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty on next week's shows where they will be split to their brands. And a lot of these guys in this match are on different brands, and this is one of the last times you'll see a multi-man uh, six-man ladder match like this featuring all these guys from various different brands, if you Nonetheless, here we go. TJ Black, Thomas War, Braden Punk, Lasseter Roberts, Shane Adams, and Eric Hale all clash and looking to show everybody what they can do here in NCW's newly, uh, how do you say, newly revived cruiserweight division. Of course, no one is champion, so this is a non-title matchup. The bell has sounded, and here we go. Action all over the place here, partner. And it's looking crazy already. Thomas War and Braden Punk fighting it out. Lasseter Roberts and TJ Black fighting it out. And it looks like Shane Adams, the quickest of all of them, to go after a ladder. And a ladder is already in the ring. Oh, crap. I didn't even see the ladder in the ring. Look out. These guys are fighting it out. Shane Adams taunting here. Oh, and look out, one hell of a power bomb. And now look at this. Oh, landing on his feet is Lasseter Roberts. Reversal into Dragon Suplex. Nice reversal there by Braden Punk as well. And look out, hell of a big boot there. A maneuver he definitely needed. And now, look out, a ladder shot knocking Braden Punk to the ground and a beautiful T bone suplex there. Look out, there is action partner. All Drop in kick place. in the in ring. The ring. And headbutt. Eric Hale, the cruiser, or former cruiserweight champion of NCW, not afraid to show off what he can do. Oh, look out. TJ Black just taking it to Braden Punk on the outside. Oh, shot with the ladder. Sending Lasseter Roberts out of the ring, but Eric Hale to reverse, take the ladder, knock out Thomas War. And now, climb the ladder. Look out, Eric Hale's at the top of the ladder, but Braden Punk quickly to the top of the ladder with him here, throwing big time shots. And look out, throws him off the ladder here, but TJ Black quickly grabbing the tights of Braden Punk. Now, Lasseter Roberts at the top of the ladder. Braden Punk back up to the top of the ladder as well. And look at this, throwing big time shots here. Oh, and knocks him off the ladder. And look at this, he's ripped off as well. He's Yanking Lasseter down. Just everybody getting yanked down. Everybody going to the top of the ladder. Everybody wanting a piece of that briefcase that hangs at the top. Oh, and look out, Lasseter. Lasseter Roberts just throwing life and limb aside here. 
hot. That had to have been at least 10 feet in the air. Look out, Braden Punk. Jeez. What is he doing? He's climbing to the top of the ladder now, but look out, he's not going for the briefcase. He's looking to fly. Oh, instead of jumping that far. Wait a minute, uh oh, Lassiter Roberts got a hold of Braden Punk's tights and pulls him down from the top of the ladder. Now Braden Punk oh. face first off the ladder. Punk reversing here. Punk. Going for the drop kick to no avail, leaving these two the only two left in the ring here. Look out, got him up. Oh, one hell of a atomic oh. drop here. And a drop kick. A drop Punk. kick. And Lasser is down as Punk heading to the top. Going for the corkscrew, finds nothing there. Lassiter Roberts now trying to get to the top of the ladder here. Was he going for Punk now? Springing to the top of the turnbuckle. Oh, and knocks oh, him off. God. Oh, goodness. God. Carnage everywhere. How is he? How, how in the world did he just roll out of the ring after that? Oh, oh what a spine buster. buster. With his spine catching the edge of that ladder. What a ladder match here. And look on at adrenaline. this. Adrenaline. Oh. These six cruiserweights going at it here tonight. And Braden Punk laying waste to Thomas Wood. Uh oh. Oh, look how the diamond cutter puts him down. Wow, Lassiter Roberts is down here, ladies and gentlemen, and it is not looking good here. Thomas War trying to make it back to his feet here, attempting. I don't know what he's going for here. Oh, look out, trying to stop Braden Punk on the outside the ring, here. Bicycle knee strike. Maneuvers all over the place. Men, bodies lying everywhere. Oh, and a drop kick to the knee to knock the ladder out of the hands of TJ Black by Shane Adams here. Oh, in the ring. Head scissors. Ooh. Helicopter head scissor at that. Beautiful maneuver there. Now, look at this. Oh, Lassiter oh. Roberts here. Oh, look at that. Oh, Moving out of the TJ. way at the last second. TJ. Uh-oh, Thomas War comes in the ring here. Now the ladder in the ring. Looking to save him, but the Michinoku driver. It is not looking good here for Braden Punk. And look out. Oh, last last Robert, center of the ring. Last Rob. His finishing maneuver there connects fully with that. Meanwhile, Thomas War got him up on his shoulders and Braden Punk in a bad way while Lassiter Roberts on the outside collecting a ladder here, partner, perhaps looking to end the match. Most likely I cannot believe if either of these men want this to continue. Imagine being in a ladder match, the pain. The destruction. The agony. The everything that just continues on here in this matchup. The ladder, ladder. East, East. Lassiter all Lassiter alone in the ring. ring. Lassiter Roberts all alone in the ring. Wait a minute. We got Eric Hale climbing the ladder here, and a springboard to the inside. Oh, Knocks both man. men off the ladder there by Braden Punk. And now, Braden Punk now has the ladder in hand. Lassiter is out, a power bomb there to Eric Hale, and he's down. Braden Punk acting like he don't know where even where he is. Oh no. Oh, no. no. Now. Lasser on his way back up. Thomas War. Oh, 
Thomas Ward, the top of the ladder, and both men push it over as he throws uh, he throws off his opponent. These men continue fighting in the ring. Shane Adams eats a kick there by Lassiter. Oh, oh going for the hurricane gets caught with a spine buster. Holy Lord, there. And a super kick, but he gets ducked super there. Ducked. Perhaps Lassiter will hit his running super kick, a beautiful maneuver he's used in the past. That a patented signature maneuver, of course. His finisher, the last Rob. We're gonna see how he fares here and look out the jawbreaker from behind by TJ Black. TJ now. Oh, and look at that, just nails Eric the Assassin, Eric Hale in the face with that ladder. Great oh, punk Sherman, Sherman in the middle of the ring. Oh, and Whoa, look at this, wait, a what bunch of ladders in the ring here, Braden Punk. It's, it's, it's Steel, Steel City. City. It is Steel you City, well if you Pittsburgh. will. <laughs> look out, flying to the inside of the ring and not being able to hit nothing. Lassiter Roberts got the ladder set up here inside the ring, looking for some, uh, some damaging effects, if you will. Oh, and look at that, a drop kick to the side of the temple right up against the uh, steel steps there. Shane Adams now on the high pursuit now. It looks like a Eric Hale of sorts. He's been still battling on the inside of the ring. TJ Black trying to prove to everyone he should be the number one contender. Fighting it out here with Lassiter Roberts, but Lassiter now throwing him back. Oh, and a pullback, big uh, pullback. Flying knee, Lassiter Roberts here. Trying to set up the ladder where he wants. Look out, he's in the he's in the ring at the top of the ladder all along all here. Along from what I can see. And look out, Braden Punk at the top of the ladder again. Oh, and oh no. kicks, oh kicks no. it out from under him here. And oh then, oh man, God. into the ladder. Down Electric goes Lassiter chair Roberts. Drop. Look out, Braden Punk sent to the outside, but Shane Adams with a hell of a ladder shot from behind. And partner, that may be enough to do it here. Shane Adams at the top whoa, whoa, whoa. of the ladder, hands whoa, whoa, whoa. on the briefcase. TJ Black though, at the top of the ladder with him. Oh my God, a cutter oh, on the top God, of the ladder. A cutter. The cutter off the top of the ladder sends Shane Adams to the outside here. TJ Black, uh-oh. TJ Black going for something dangerous here, but Lassiter Roberts in the ring from behind. Lassiter Roberts going to the top of the ladder. Thomas War will follow him to the top of the ladder. Look out. Oh, and the assassin laid on the outside. Puts him down. Thomas Ward throws him off the top of the ladder. He's the only man left in the ring. TJ Black is up. Can he get in the ring fast enough? No, he cannot. Your winner here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Ward. Jesus. What an awesome What a ladder here. match. What a ladder match here, ladies and gentlemen. A six-man ladder match. And as you can see, Thomas War walks away your victor. Congratulations to Thomas War here in this matchup this evening. Well, partner, if you didn't get enough ladder match in that one, then, well, we got another one for you. That's right. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, ladder ladder match. another ladder match. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fatal four-way women's ladder match as the women's Miss Money in the Bank puts her Money in the Bank briefcase on the line in a fatal four-way ladder match here tonight. So this is certainly going to be an awesome matchup, to say the least. As Sky Cage puts her newly won women's money in the bank on the line instead of cashing in she wants to put it on the line partner what do you feel about that oh, i feel like I it's feel a, bad like a bad move why why would you say why
But like, like I was like saying, I, was I just saying, don't feel like it's the right thing to do. I don't, I don't think it's right either. But you gotta, you gotta commend her for the fight. I guess you would say. Nonetheless, here tonight she is gonna put that, that gold briefcase on the line. We're gonna see how she fares here tonight in this uh, women's fatal four-way ladder match. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fatal four-way women's ladder match. Women's money in the bank on the line. Of course, the uh, briefcase holder is Sky Cage. Will she be by the end of this match? We shall see. As Maddie Manhattan, Lazara, and Tiffany Slater all challenge here tonight for this the women's money in the bank now the matter has already happened and sky cage walked away the victor of that multi women ladder match but here tonight she's putting on on the line and, and everybody has advised against it the commentators included we all think it's a bad idea for her to put her money in the bank on the line but here tonight on ncw's adrenaline tuesday night adrenaline we're gonna find out can she walk out still with the briefcase by the end of this match? I know earlier I tried, I tried to stay on bias. But, but for whatever reason, I feel like I feel Tiffany, Tiffany Slater, Slater has, a, has a good chance here tonight. Here tonight. Tiffany Slater is a former women's champion in her own right. Uh, it took her a while to get there, but she finally held the championship for a matter of uh, a couple months. Um, she lost the title the night that I believe they had the money in the bank. She lost it to Amaya Rose. Amaya Rose would turn around and lose to Danielle Drake, our current women's champion. She will be defending her title against Amaya Rose uh, in the next matchup, as a matter of fact. But uh, right here tonight, Tiffany Slater, who wasn't in that women's money in the bank, now looking to try her hand at it here tonight. I feel like she's always got a good chance at it, but you got to watch out for the queen of our women's division, Maddie Manhattan. Maddie Manhattan is one hell of a competitor. She is a member of the American Triad. She is the only female member of that group. She's a former three-time women's champion. She has done a lot. Here with us, and you got to watch out also for the wild card here in this matchup, Lazara. Um, Lazara, of course, the valet of Egyptian Pro with us in the land of the nightmare. And now, here tonight, Lazara in her major, her first major women's role as far as uh, challenging for her own title rather than managing him to a championship. Nonetheless, here we go. We're going to find out. Who's going to walk out with the women's money in the bank? Lazara, the only woman in this matchup, not a former women's champion. All other women in this matchup, including Miss Money in the Bank, Sky Cage, all former women's champions. But here tonight, we're going to see who's going to walk away with the women's money in the bank. Here we go, partner. The bell is about to sound, and this oh, matchup is way. underway. Look out, Maddie Manhattan getting taken to the outside. And Lazara now on the inside with Tiffany Slater swinging neck breaker there puts her down. Oh, into the steps on the outside. Heard that. 
now Lazara with a ladder in hand trying to get away from both Tiffany Slater and Miss Money in the Bank Sky Cage. Look at this. Ooh, an arm drag out of the half Nelson, but she gets hit from behind. And look out, Maddie Manhattan coming after her there with that maneuver. And look out, Lazara. Oh, and a running oh, big boot there by Lazara. Flat lines are there. Oh, tries to go after Tiffany Slater, but to no avail. Tiffany Slater with a flying clothesline here. Oh, some sort of a kick there. And look out, blocks the kick, does Lazara. But this ain't looking good as the queen of Egypt. Oh, the princess of Egypt, if you will. Married to the prince. Oh, and a DDT nearly into that steel chair. Tiffany Slater goes down. Chain suplexes there. Partner, these four women fighting it out here. Oh, big Ooh, neck breaker. breaker. Hell of a neck breaker there by Maddie Manhattan. Tiffany Slater here setting her sights perhaps for a flying clothesline of sorts. Or a drop kick. Look out, missing with that missile drop kick there. Oh, oh side, side suplex. suplex. And now, oh, oh nails God. her into the ladder. Jesus. These two, or these four women rather, battling it out. Look out, diving off the second rope there. Oh, and there's oh, a dragon, and the dragon screw. screw. Ooh, Lazara fighting dirty here. One hell of a head kick there to drop down Miss Money in the Bank. And a drop kick there to save herself from a chair shot from Lazara. Sending her to the outside, leaving only three women in the ring. Tiffany Slater, Maddie Manhattan, and Sky Cage. Ladder in hand, knocking down both women, and Sky Cage is looking perhaps to retain her Mrs. Money in the bank. She's just spinning the ladder. She is climbing the ladder, and what in the world is Lazara doing here? Uh-oh, Maddie instead pushing the ladder out from under, and Tiffany Slater with the power bomb. Swinging that chair Ooh, while she's on the second rope. And look out, catching Sky Cage as well. Ladder, sh or chair shots rather, all over the place here. Oh, Maddie gets the chair out of her hands, but to what? And look at this. Uh-oh, Lazora. Oh. Showing off her athleticism, the athleticism. Good Lord. Goes right after it here. Uh-oh. And now Maddie flip neck breaker into a ladder. Good Lord. Puts her down with that. Tiffany Slater now getting the ladder taken away. And Maddie puts her down with that. Now Lazara with a ladder on the outside. Maddie nailing Sky Cage there. Oh, At her south middle of the ring. ring. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, dives off the top hugely. to no avail as she goes crashing and burning, leaving Tiffany Slater. And look out, the big ladder is getting brought out Lazarus. here. Bridging that Look at ladder that. between oh. our announce table oh, and the ring there. apron. Oh, man. There are bodies going all over the place. This is not looking good for anyone. <laughs> and look at this, just catching her. Oh, oh, and one hell of a knee. That'll stop the full oh, sky champion. And now... Lazora now reaching for the briefcase, but Sky Cage looking to save her briefcase here. And look at this, both women diving down here. Uh oh. Oh, got a hold of her going for that kill shot, but to no avail. Oh, 
sidesteps that drop kick. And now throws her out of the ring. Ooh. Took a hard cage. bump there on and the Lazara. arena floor. Face to face. Oh, and a kick to the top of the head. And look at that. Oh, man. Nails her right in two. Tiffany Slater, both women inside the ring are down, and Lazara is all by herself inside the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Lazara now trying to pull down the briefcase, the women's money in the bank. Can she walk away with the briefcase? Maddie Manhattan sliding in the ring behind her. I don't even think she sees her. Few Maddie now. To the leg. And now Maddie. Got a hold of her. Power bomb there by Manhattan. Sending Lazara all the way to the outside. And look at this, Tiffany Slater going for something here. Trying to push the ladder over. But Maddie with a drop, drop kick, kick out of nowhere. Doing what she's got to do. Maddie now going to the top here. These, la these women pulled out the ladder bridge. And no one's even gone for it yet, but Maddie Going up the ladder, Sky Cage now gonna go up with her. A few chops on the top of the ladder. And there's a forearm. Oh, counter. Forearm, forearm, three in a row. Oh, and she's down. Oh, oh God. Oh! Ladder bridge and Maddie is down. This is not looking good. Lazara in the corner while Tiffany Slater throwing hella shots here while Sky Cage trying to stop it here. Oh man. And look at this. Lazara got a hold of oh Sky Cage, but Sky Cage is fighting her way out of this. Good lord, fights her way out of that. Now, Lazara getting back down from the ladder and getting thrown over the ropes here. Look out, Tiffany Slater sends her to the outside. Sky Cage is down. Maddie scaling the ladder here. And Maddie, can she do it? Maddie pulls down the briefcase here and Maddie Manhattan becomes our women's money in the bank here tonight. Wow. Maddie, Maddie. What a matchup. What a match indeed. Maddie and Manhattan ended up going through that uh, ladder bridge, but in the end, she ends up walking away with the women's money in the bank briefcase. And partner, one has got to believe that it has totally been worth it at that point. Indeed. Indeed, but didn't, but didn't I, say I say at the beginning, at the beginning, of, this, beginning of this, putting, putting that, money that, the, money the, that money on the that money in the money bank, in the bank, on the line on the here line tonight, here was, tonight a was a terrible, terrible idea. idea. Yeah, it was a terrible idea. But at the end of the day, I mean, Maddie walks away with the briefcase. So I mean, there it is. Your new Mrs. Money in the Bank. Maddie Manhattan. Congratulations to Maddie Manhattan again. And now, partner, we're going to find out uh, who will be the women's champion as the next matchup coming up on the card. Here we go. It is for the NCW Women's Championship. We will see Danielle Drake go up against her challenger here tonight, Amaya Rose. One on one for the women's championship. Partner, you hear me? You hear me? So here we go, partner. Coming up next, women's title on the line. Danielle Drake puts her belt on the line against the My Rose right here tonight. We're going to find out who's going to walk away the NCW Women's Champion. 